Everton are set to be without Jarrod Branthwaite and Vitaly Mikhalenko this weekend for their game against Newcastle United at Goodison Park tomorrow. Jarrod Branthwaite has reportedly picked up another injury. This time it's with his quad muscle and is rumoured to be out for around four weeks' time, although the club is saying that they will monitor how that goes. Uh, whereas Vitaly Mikhalenko is rumoured to be missing for the next two to three weeks with a calf injury. That seems to be confirmed by the Ukrainian national team um, squad. Disappointments, obviously. The manager had done his press conference yesterday. There was no indication either of these players was going to be missing for the game. Uh, so, obviously, it, it is a shock when you then hear it. Branthwaite, these things happen when you've been out for a while. You've had surgery, come back. The quad, obviously, striking through the ball, things like that, put more stuff, more volume, as they say, through the muscle. You can pick up little strains like that. Hopefully, uh, the the club can you know manage that properly. the The saving grace right now is that it's during an international break. He'll have already been receiving treatments on it today. Let's hope he's a quick healer and we can get him back in time for the Ipswich game. But we'll have to wait and see. Albanian manager Silvino has revealed that Everton told him that Armando Breuer is around five weeks away from returning to full fitness. Breuer joined Everton on loan from Chelsea for the season. The Blues do have an option on the striker. Uh, he has been missing with an Achilles injury. Obviously, Sean Dyche hoping to get him back sooner rather than later to add to his attacking options. But Silvino, the Albanian manager, hoping he'll have him for the next international uh, break, which is, I think it's about six or seven weeks' time. Delhi has suffered another setback um, in his bid to get fit. This time it's a muscle injury. He, uh, the manager has said that it's only a slight issue. It's not the groin on the groin, uh, which is what he's had the issues with. He's already said he's training again. He just had a slight setback and um, is back in training. Obviously, Everton still haven't offered them a new contract. There was talks are ongoing. Delhi has been this week linked with a move to Genoa in Serie A. And finally, Everton Football Club have announced that a commemorative fan wall at Everton's new stadium is set to celebrate popular blues figures past and present and give thousands of supporters the opportunity to become part of the club's new home. Following the success of Everton Way, an initiative that gave Evertonians the chance to have a personalised stone installed outside the new stadium, Excuse me, Everton are now set to unveil a monic, uh, a monic, a mosaic, a monic, a mosaic artwork <laughs> comprised entirely of fan photos. This is set to be installed on its river facing western side, named the Originals. The artwork will honour Everton players who have realised unique achievements while representing the football club and those who have truly embodied Everton's spirit on and off the pitch. Uh, Evertonians from across the world will be able to submit a photo for the wall with personal images set to be pieced together to create a magnificent fan-inspired mosaic. Not a monarch. Uh, yeah, listen, lots of good little touches going into the new stadium now. Um, it, it gets closer and closer every day to its completion. It's, it's strange to think that this time next year, that's where we go every other week to watch Everton Football Club. It's fantastic the images we're seeing in the night with the lights on and all of that. And this is obviously the club reaching out to fans to personalise that and make it truly our home. That is it. Before we go, I want to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed. We've now gone over 90,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Uh, the countdown now truly does begin to 100,000. But thank you each and every one of you who have took time to subscribe. We appreciate all of you. Uh, there you go. That's it for the news. Make sure you watch the match preview. Check out Ped starting 11 for the Newcastle game. And uh, have a fantastic weekend. See you later.